welcome to another video from the Children's Museum of New Hampshire. My name is Meredith and today I am sharing an art activity with you. The art activity that we're sharing today is called Upcycled CD Scratch Art and can be done with just a handful of materials I think most people will have at home already. So the things that you want to gather to begin this activity is um, obviously some kind of CD or DVD, something that you don't use anymore. Uh, good ones uh, I found tend to be like old computer programs that came with CDs that you don't need anymore. Those are really good to use and you probably have. It uh, doesn't matter if the CD is scratched up, the project will still work. You're just going to be scratching it more, doing your scratch art. So it's okay if it has some scratches on it. You also want to find some tools to do your scratching. Um, it can be whatever you want. This is kind of fun to experiment and see what works. I chose a plastic fork, a plastic knife, a toothpick, and this little piece of metal. We're gonna see what works, kind of what works the best. You also wanna find some craft paint. It does need to be acrylic. Uh, it can't be washable. This is because it needs to stick to the shiny part of the CD and acrylic paint does that really well. So make sure that the paint you're using is acrylic. Otherwise, it may not work. And a uh, paintbrush. And then if you would like, some kind of string or ribbon so you can hang up your CD at the end. So the first thing you want to do is paint your CD. So you're going to pick what color you'd like and paint your CD. When you finish, it will look something like this. I chose to do all one solid color. If you wanted to do some big blocks of color, that would be okay too. I would just recommend not painting designs on these like flowers or dogs or you know balloons or whatever you decide. Um, I would do it all one color or just a couple colors because we want the kind of emphasis to be on the scratch art part of it rather than the painting part. If you have a lot of CDs, go for it, do all kinds of painting. But if you only have a couple, try to do it just one solid color. The tough part comes next. You have to wait for this to dry. Mine did not take long. I think it was less than an hour before it was totally dry. So you can paint these, go off, do something else, and then come back and finish your project. So once this is all painted, then you get to do your scratch art. So what we're going to do is choose something to start with. I'm gonna start with this plastic knife. And you're gonna do some scratches in there. And see how it, oh my, see how it looks. So the knife doesn't come out super clear, but is kind of fun. Let's try this spoon. Oh yeah, there it is. So what you're doing is you're um, peeling away parts of the paint. As you go, and making that scratch art and making some cool designs. And what's happening is as you peel away the paint, the CD color underneath is showing. <laughs> I painted maybe a little too thick on here, but that's good to experiment too. You can experiment and see what works and what doesn't. Okay, and now let's try this piece of metal. Oh yeah, this is gonna be my best one. My dog needed a new dog license in town, so this is her old one. Um, and it's giving us our best um, scratch art. So, once you, and you can do this for a while, I'm not gonna make you watch me scratch a CD for a long time. But it is cool, because eventually what happens is you've scratched away enough of this paint that the shiny CD part is showing through. So it kind of looks like a flower now instead of just a green circle. So what you could do then is put your string in and put that right through the middle, no glue or tape required. And then when you hang this in a window, what's gonna happen is that light is gonna catch it and start reflecting the cool colors that you scratch to show in your CD. So I hope you have fun with CD scratch art and you make some cool designs and figure out fun ways to do this. And if you wanna post pictures or let us know how it turned out, please do, we would love to see what you're working on. And we hope you have a great time with this project. See you soon.